I'll put that next. We're gonna we're gonna take the vectors and put them on the x y plane or the x y z space. I guess that's not a plane. That's space. Um, we will position or I uh, better use the word place. We will place vectors on the x y plane and in x y z space. So if I'm working with just x y I might have a vector like this. Now, a vector that's parallel to this and the same length that, that points in the same direction is equivalent to this vector. So if this is vector V, I want to take vector V and I want to move it so that the initial point is at the origin. Let me write that. Move vector V so that the initial point is at the origin. Well, then I'm just going to put the initial point there. I'm going to draw same direction, same length. There's vector V. I just moved it. If you have the vector so that the initial point is at the origin, then it's called the position vector. So. Let me write that. When we have a vector, where the initial point is at the origin, we say we have the position vector. So this would be, um, it just describes the location of where it is. I'm gonna do an example. This will be in two space. Um, I'm gonna say here's Here's an example. So I want to plot this point, negative 1, 3, and 2, comma, 7. Let's call it point A and point B. I want to draw the vector that goes from A to B. And then I want to do the position vector for this. So plot the two points, draw vector AB, and then draw the position vector. For AB. Okay, so uh, this one doesn't seem like a hard problem. Especially since it's in two dimensions. So, for A, I'll go negative one, one, two, three. <laughs> There's A. B is 2 for x, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me extend that line a little bit. 
two, seven. So vector A, B is right there. I'll put the position vector in red. So the position vector, I need to start at zero, zero. And I guess I could kind of eyeball it a little bit, and like I have been doing. But let me see. I could do this. Um, let's see. A moved down three units and right one. So B's going to move down three units and right one. Here's my position vector. <laughs> Oh, my picture looks a little off, but I won't, I'm not going to worry about that here. So, um, we, can, we can describe vectors algebraically, and that's kind of what I'm hinting at right here. So, instead of doing this geometrically, we can describe vectors algebraically. And what I would do for this, I could say A, B. Now for this algebraically, in this class, in calculus, we use angle brackets. So angle bracket, you might see something different in your physics class. In fact, we'll talk about what you see in physics. But an angle bracket, and then I'm gonna do it's tip minus tail. Two minus negative one. So I looked at the x value for b and did two and minus the x value for a, the y value for b minus the y value for a. Okay, what is two minus negative one? Three. How about seven minus three? Four. Now that's an angle bracket. Angle brackets to indicate a vector. Because look at what this is. Three comma four. This is the point three four. So if it's a point, I put it in parentheses. But if it's a vector, the vector, that directed line segment, I put it in angle brackets. This in angle brackets, this is the position vector. 3, 4, in brackets, angle brackets, is the position vector for vector AB. Okay, so on, um, I guess, Tuesday, I will continue with 12.2, and um, we'll just keep working our way through Chapter 12. Y'all...